Have you struggled to keep your New Year's resolutions? What about trying to develop good habits in your life? If you need some extra help to live courageously, then our friend Michael Anthony has a plan just for you. Michael, welcome to Good here to, you, to, to real life. <laughs> Good to see you. Good to be here. Great to be here. You know, when we were talking in the green room, and, and, and I, when I think of, of stewardship, I think of finances, and I think most right. people do, but, but we agreed that the stewardship of our time and of our talent Yes. is just as important. As a matter of fact, I feel more precious than gold. It is. It's more important. Time is that one resource you cannot get more of. Mm. Once it's gone, that's it. That's right. And the Bible says a lot about the stewardship of time. And you think that's about right. it, our whole lives are going to be judged at the judgment seat based on what we did with our time. Mm. And yet there's so little practical theology and, and so little teaching about the importance of stewarding your time. Mm. I know yeah. my husband and I moments this year is like we're being intentional, yeah. but we've never done like a yearly planner. And mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, I love <laughs> your packaging. What you did Good. here is wonderful. But you talk about digging your well and mm -hmm. prioritizing the seven areas of life. Right. What are those seven areas you're talking That's about? That's a great question. Well, I'm glad that you like the way it looks and everything. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Any goal that you set, like you, t you mentioned resolutions, the difference right. between a resolution and a goal is putting a date on it, mm, right? That's, okay. that's a whole different thing. Most New Year's resolutions are broken in two to three weeks anyway, after right. the date. Right. So um, the seven areas of life, any goal that you want to set in life, any goal that you want to achieve is going to be centered in one of those seven areas of life, relationships, spiritual life, health and fitness, mm -hmm. career, finances, education and then rest and recreation which is an area most people don't even think about setting goals in the area of rest and recreation so any goal that you want to achieve is going to be centered in one of those seven areas of life you think about anything you want to achieve it's going to be centered in one of those seven areas of life so the courageous life planning system is designed to help you set and achieve goals in each of those seven areas what's interesting we think of the prodigal son it's actually the prodigal father by, by literal definition. Mm -hmm. You talk about courageous life. Right. Right. I think it's courageous not to have a plan. <laughs> and, yes. and, and I'm saying that, I'm yes. saying that to be facetious, that, that courageous, really, how can you go through life without a plan? Right. right, you have to have a plan. And you know, there's two extremes that are taken by Christians when it comes to time and life management. Mm. One is to drop back and punt and just say, well, I'm just led by the Holy Spirit. Right. And the other is to plan to such a degree, we were talking about this That's before, exactly right. to plan to such a degree that the Holy Spirit out. cannot call an audible. Mm -hmm. But when you think about it, God is our architect. There was a lot of planning that went into the universe, the laws of physics and biology right. and the, the building of the temple. Right. Everything had to be done just so. So the Holy Spirit's in planning as well. And so what I wanted to do is I wanted to design a system that accounted for both of those so that the Holy Spirit could call an audible, but in the meantime, you're also led through, how do I seek God and how am I led by God in my strategy for setting goals throughout my life? Right. So I noticed this isn't like a Bible reading plan. This no. is literally for life. Right. And it's this is one thing, thing you said, uh, many people set out to change the world, I could identify with that, <laughs> before they develop a solid belief system. Yeah. I'm like, oh, so this is in your focus filter, like right in the right. beginning of planning out this is the particular legacy blueprint. Yeah. But talk to us a little bit about this one. This is like right. long term. Well, you're looking at the legacy blueprint. There are three journals that are part of the Courageous Life Planning System, and that's the first one, which is a life planner. That's why it's called a legacy blueprint. You're looking at your legacy. And in the beginning, there's something that I call a focus filter. So it, it keeps you, it, the name reflects exactly what it is, <clears throat> to help you focus and filter out what's not important so mm -hmm. that you're pure and true to who you should be in the idea of being the best version of yourself. A lot of talk about being the best version of you, but very few people define it. Right. Well, I wanted to define it. I wanted to walk the user through mm -hmm. so that you actually know what that bullseye is that you're aiming for. And that's what the focus filter is. Mm -hmm. So there's things like there, you're looking at the worldview, developing your worldview. What's your belief system? Right. Discovering your passion, your aptitude, your personality. Because many times in Christian circles, we just talk about your, what's your spiritual gift? 
but we don't spend a lot of time talking about some of the natural gifting mm -hmm. and like your aptitude and your personality, which are super important as, as well. And that God uses all of those things. He uses your life experiences and your failures and all of those things to shape you if you're paying attention into uh, being the best version of yourself so that your legacy is prioritized. Your, your, your impact after your life here is over. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Michael, I, we begin each of our real life <clears throat> programs just acknowledging God for who He is yeah. and, and saying that we gather with other believers in God's presence to learn about His perfect purpose. How does your system draw into that? Because obviously when it comes to, to goal setting and, and for, the, for the big picture for five, 10 year or, or even longer, uh, longer range goals, and then how that shapes out, right. how do we start off with the goal? Because right. many are the plans of man, Absolutely. but it's God who really directs our steps. Well, as Christians, we always hear, you know, make Jesus the Lord of your life. I right. want Jesus to be the Lord of my life. But until he's master of every moment, mm. he cannot be Lord right. of your life. I mean, it's literally That's not good. possible. Right. And so this is the idea of methodically, prayerfully walking through with intentionality. What, are, what kind of goals do I want to have this year and maybe for the next three to 50 years or beyond, depending on when you're using the planning system, when right. you start's flexible. Right. Right. So the idea is to pray and to seek God, to invite him into that, That's to surrender. I think that God gives us the desires of our heart. I don't think that we start with our desires and God gives us them. Right. I think it's that God actually gives us those right. desires. Yes. Right. And then it's up to us to steward them and to make sure that they're yes. prioritized. Excellent. So it's really important, you know, if we all say Jesus is Lord of my life, but the real question is, well, how has he been master of your moments? this past mm. week, over the past right. seven days, right. and for the next seven days. And that's what the, the whole Courageous Life planning system does. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. Excellent. You talk about the mosaic uh, masterpiece yes. a lot. <laughs> what is that? Yes, the, the whole premise is that your life is a mosaic in the making. It and is. a mosaic is, you know, you, you stand back and a mosaic is comprised of tiles or pictures that don't necessarily make sense when you're close up to it. But when you take a step back or several steps, or you get the further away you get, the clearer it comes into focus. So your life, your life, my life, everyone's life is a mosaic in the making. The question is, how do you make it a masterpiece mosaic so that when it's done, you look back and say, wow, because the, the reality is that every day of our lives is becoming a single tile in the mosaic that we are crafting. We've already been working on our mosaic. All I'm trying to do is to get you to, to myself as well. I did this for my sons. I have teenage sons, for my wife, myself first and foremost, trying to help you live intentionally, to recognize not only am I building a mosaic, but how do I be intentional about making that mosaic a masterpiece? Right. And that's, that's what we're, we're doing. That's what we're walking people Beautiful. through. Michael, is there a way that, that we can affirm God's perfect purpose for our lives. Mm -hmm. and, and, and what would you say to someone that, that now in this new year, they're, they're looking for a change. They're looking for breakthrough and they're, they're, they're looking to be more intentional in the way that they live, not, mm -hmm. not going through life reacting to circumstances, right. but someone that is watching this that has a goal, I, I do, I wanna live more intentionally. Mm -hmm. I wanna acknowledge God more conspicuously in my mm -hmm. life. What would you say to them? I, I'd mm -hmm. like you to look into the camera and, and, and right. talk to them specifically about that. Three words, and I cover these repeatedly in the Courageous Life Planning System. Three words that are easy to remember, replicate, eliminate and elevate. Mm. If you remember those three words and you use them again and again each day and throughout the course of your week, they're gonna revolutionize your life. Replicate what's working in regard to what's most important to you. Right. If it's working, if, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. <laughs> Ask yourself, what's working that I can replicate? Eliminate the things that are distracting you and pulling you away. What's, what's uh, undermining you? That's what eliminate is about. And then elevate. Take those things that are on the back burner of our lives. There's so many things that end up on the back burner that God called us to do or that we're passionate about that we push aside because the tyranny of the urgent comes and, and right. crowds it out. So you want to elevate those things, take them off the back burner, put them on the front burner so that they become top priority. Replicate, eliminate, and elevate. That'll revolutionize your life. That's good. That's, well, I know I'm looking forward to getting more organized and you need to too. These are great journals. They'd be great gifts. So I know that we'll have your website on our website mm -hmm. or you can always call the prayer line, but 
hey, this is 2020. It's time to focus in and get your life where God wants it to be so he can use it. We want to be good stewards, mm -hmm. the best stewards that we can be right. of God's precious gift to each of us That's of right. a finite amount of time. Absolutely. That's our goal for this year. Michael, thank you. Great I to be here. appreciate Tom, that so very you, much. And, and, and we appreciate you being on the program. Thank you.